Tashitele, hi, my name is Kiki. Welcome to my channel Himalayan Dumplings, where I share Tibetan recipes both old and new. If you are new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing to it, assuming of course you're interested in Tibetan cuisine. Um, the recipe I'm going to share with you today is for an iconic Tibetan dish, very beloved amongst the Tibetan diaspora. We call it Sha Palip in Tibetan. Sha translates to meat and Palip translates to flatbread in Tibetan. Essentially, it's the empanada of Tibetan cuisine, if you will. It's traditionally filled with yak, beef or buff meat fillings. But in recent times, there, there are a lot of uh, vegetarian or vegan friendly uh, filling options too. So I'm very excited to share with you this recipe for a dish that's very popular amongst the Tibetan community. And I hope you'll enjoy it as much as we do. Thank you so much for watching and you take care. Tijena. Okay, yeah, 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 Kali this is the style of shapale folding that we used to have growing up. It's easy to hold in the hands. Filling for a snack can be eaten as an entree as well. And as you can see, as I'm putting the filling, I'm leaving the edges clear because I will need that space to pleat. All right, so whatever filling you use, just make sure you leave about half an inch, depending on how narrow you want the pleats to be, you leave a little bit space on the edges. Now I simply take the same size of disc or wrapper, put it on top. See, and because the dough is made from scratch, it's really easy to pull it. See, it doesn't break. It's got a lot of elasticity. I used warm water, oil, and a little bit of salt to make the dough. And when you add oil or any kind of fat with dough, what it does is it basically tenderizes the dough, makes it a little less um, chewy. So flatten the edges. Okay, here we go. 
hold. Now I'm going to continue the same pattern. There we go, not perfect, but I like it. Here's the second way to fold your chapali. It's the half moon shape. So just like we did with the first, we seal the edges really good by pressing the edges down. And you always want to flatten the filling so that way when you're frying it, it cooks through evenly. The same thing, you tuck it in and pinch and you continue with that pattern until you reach the other end. It does get easier the more you do it. See? And you press it down, the last one. And there it is. And if the twisted rope design is not your thing, then no worries. I'm going to show you a really easy way to pleat your chapale by simply using a fork. So first, seal the edges, yeah, flatten the filling so it cooks through evenly when you're deep frying them. And now, instead of pleating them, we're simply using a fork to create that design just by crimping it down. See that? Just crimp the edges with the fork. Not too hard because you don't want it to slice through either. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Sha, 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 sha,